What is going on miners and welcome back to another episode of the hobbyist miner channel. So today we're trying something totally different. This is not the norm for me, but I was like, man, let's let's give it a try. Let, let's have some fun. So we're going to try out nice hash um, for the very first time on my gaming rig and just see how we do. Uh, I feel like this is very much something that a lot of um, miners that are just stepping into the space, you know, you start with mining on your gaming rig and it seems like a lot of people are either using nice hash or using unminable when you're at that stage of mining so i thought okay let's give it a whirl so we're on nicehash.com uh and, and this is just for fun uh connect your gpu and cpu start earning bitcoins Ooh, cool so let's do check your profits so we're going to come here and you can manually select or auto detect so let's do auto detect uh it looks like it downloads something here um, so we'll go ahead and allow it to uh, steal all of our goodies on our computer. Uh, so let's run ahead. Okay, so it says here. Okay, we have this. Here's what we've detected. An AMD uh, CPU Ryzen 9 3900X and an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Super. Cool. Show me the money. Okay, so here's what it's telling me. Okay, so based off of running both of these, this is going to tell me that I'm earning $3.85 a day. Um, interesting. Okay. So that's some good information. Uh, does it break it apart? Oh, look at this. Okay. So it actually is going to have me mining. It would, it, it would break this up doing Kapow, um, Monero, dagger okay and octopus okay cool so i'm just kind of like seeing like how mining hash rate for each algorithm that's what's curious about so like kapow 29 okay octopus i was just really curious so all right all right cool so what do we got to do what's next uh start mining with nice hash okay sure why not okay we have to log in and create an account okay let me go ahead and do that and i'll be back in just a second Okay, so we created an account, we verified it uh, via email, and, and now we're logged in. Um, that's as far as we've gone. So we're kind of going to figure this out as we go. Welcome to NiceHash. At NiceHash, you can trade and store your favorite cryptocurrencies and sell or buy hash power. Customize your dashboard by selecting nice hash services. Okay, sure. Cryptocurrency wallet. Deposit, withdraw, and store your favorite cryptocurrencies. Uh, I don't think I... Oh, oh, they force you to do that? That's a pain in the ass. Really? You can always change this in the account settings. Well, apparently you can't because they don't let you turn that off. Connect your GPU, buying hash power. Okay, so uh, sure. So do they, they, it seems like it forces you to use their wallet, uh, if I'm not mistaken. You can't disable that and have it go to your own wallet, which is kind of disappointing. Okay, no rigs connected yet. Please install Nice Hash Miner and follow the steps on the installation screen. Once installed, it may take a few minutes for Nice Hash Miner to establish a connection. Cool. And watch list show markets. Total there. All right. Wallets. I don't think I have any wallets yet. Let's go to wallets. Okay. So this is just like built in wallets within their system uh, is what I'm seeing here. Okay. And then you can view the markets. That's pretty cool. You can exchange and then mining here. So I don't have any miners. Begin the tour. Yeah. Let's skip the tour. Okay. So download miner. All right, there's a few different miners, it looks like. Nice hash quick miner. Uh, nice hash miner, nice hash OS. Oh, interesting. Connect your ASIC. Let's let's go. Okay. Let's go with nice hash miner because we're gonna be using NVIDIA and AMD um, for the CPU as well. Got it. Good. Good, good, good. Awesome. Send you to GitHub to download this interesting that they store it there and not off their own website what is their like own website not trusted or something come on now all right wow that was just like a single install and we're good okay i accept third-party plugins sound phenomenal <laughs> okay scan with official night house mobile app or you can log in all right let me log in real quick and then we'll be back Okay, so we got logged in. It looks like it's doing its thing. I'm not going to lie. I, I've never used nice hash before. Like, haven't even dabbled. So this is like first time for everything. Okay, disclaimer on third-party software. So it's telling us these are the miners that, that it has. 
Um, okay, great. Logging performance, okay. Nice hash. Restart. Oh, the miner. Okay, restart the miner. As long as I gotta restart the computer. Restart the miner. That's fine. Do your thing. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So it looks like we have our GPU. We have our CPU ready. We're running worker one. If we go back to the website here and go to dashboard. All right, cool. So there's our one rig. Looks like we can go to miners here and it shows our one rig. Okay. Oh, it breaks it up for each one. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Uh, let's go back to our miner. And uh, I'm going to hit play. And it's probably going to make my entire setup like just lag like crazy, especially for um, recording. So let me go ahead and run it um, just for a few minutes here. Just want to see what it does. Uh, and then we'll kind of report back and go from there. Okay. So I went ahead and stopped the miner. And I actually took a screenshot beforehand. That's what you're looking at now. Um, because of the fact that when you stop the miner, it actually like closes everything. So I don't actually have anything to show you. So I can't record while it's actually mining. But, uh, as we can see here, um, top left, uh, that is our GPU miner. Uh, and that is using, uh, as it looks like it was NB miner. Uh, and it was getting 23.15 on the hash rate there. And then um, I actually Kapow uh, is what it was using. Um, going to, interesting enough, it selected EU uh, for the servers, I noticed, for the nice hash servers. And then bottom left there, it's using XM rig uh, mining Monero. And that's using the EU servers as well. So that was kind of odd. That kind of threw me off. I'm not sure, like how how it determines what server you're running to you think it would do that because i didn't select anything to say what server to go to but super simple and easy to use um you know it kind of shows you i think after i let it run for just a few minutes maybe 10 15 minutes like it was showing like two dollars and 30 some cents a day uh which which is pretty sweet pretty significant um so my overall thoughts on it i i do like nice hash i think it's super easy and simple to use oh bottom right look at that bottom right i mean it's got like euro there so maybe that's that's where it comes in um but anyways super simple easy to use super easy to set up at least from my perspective um knowing everything i know you know coming from uh building mining rigs and, and kind of working within hive os but uh the one thing i don't like and maybe i'm missing something maybe you have to unlock it or you have to mine for x amount of time is the fact of like I'd rather mine to my own wallets versus having to do everything within NiceHash. Because I assume when you try to go from NiceHash wallets to your own wallets, there's, you know, you have your transaction fees. Uh, and that's really kind of a bummer, uh, especially in the situation where if you're just mining with like your gaming rig like I am and, and testing this out. But other than that, it seems like a perfect solution for somebody who just wants to dabble into mining, doesn't have the uh, financial support to go ahead and build out rigs and such, and just wants to use their, their gaming rig or whatever rig they have. Super easy to use, to be honest with you. And the dashboard is, is very um, eye candy and very easy to look at. So that's just kind of my thoughts on nice hash guys, uh, trying it out for the very first time tonight, seeing kind of how things go. Uh, if you guys have used nice hash, let me know. How's your experience been? You love it. You hate it. You recommend it. You, you tell people to stay away from it. Let me know your thoughts. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. If you guys enjoyed this short, quick video on nice hash, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.